Hey everybody, how are you? Happy Monday morning. Let's get started because we have a lot to get done today. Uh, first in science, I'm going to be reading for you two little short parts and you're going to do two little quick pages in your science notebook, okay? So the first part is called What Light Does. You are outside. It is dark, but there are street lights. You can see the street and leaves in the trees. The street lights help you see those things. Explorers go into caves. There's no light under the ground, so the caves are dark. Explorers wear helmets with lights on them. The lights let them see in the dark caves. Light lets you see things. If there's no light, you cannot see anything. See these cool stalactites? Down here, these on the ground are called stalagmites. It's so dark in that cave, if we didn't have this light shining on the helmet, we wouldn't see any of it. You can see things when there is... What do you think? You can see things when there is no light? No, we need light to see it, don't we? If there's no light, you cannot see it or can see it. Now, without light, I cannot see it, can I? Nope. Okay, so now I want you to take a peek in your science notebook. It's going to be this page right here, okay? It's the fourth page in this lesson. It's going to come right after that story you wrote about being in a dark place. And just draw a picture of anything you can think of that makes light. Something in the house makes light. Something on your front step makes light. Something in the sky makes light. If you're outside in the dark, you need something that makes light, don't you? Maybe something out back on your picnic table or something. Think, what, what would you use for light if the power went out and your house was dark? Bet you have some of that. Now, let's come back after you draw your picture. Let's take a look at the next part of the story, okay? This one's called Making Light. Because I know some things actually make their own light. When people sit around a campfire in the dark, why can we see them? Because the fire makes light. The light helps you see the faces of all the people around the campfire. I can even see the sticks they might be using for roasting marshmallows. But if these people were to step back away from the campfire, notice how it's so much darker behind them? It would get much harder to see them, wouldn't it? Some things make their own light. You can see things that make their own light. The campfire, the light bulb, a candle flame all make their own light. Even a firefly is an insect that makes light on his tail, right? The sun makes light too. You can see streets and buildings and people in the sunlight, but in the dark, right? Street lights come on to help you see better. Which of these things can make their own light? Well, the glasses do help me see, but they don't add light, do they? I could wear my glasses in the dark and I still couldn't see, could I? And the magnifying lens will make things bigger, but if it's dark, I can't see it. The flashlight definitely, if I turn on the button, the flashlight will make its own light, won't it? And one more thing, right? The candles, but I definitely have to put a flame on the wick, don't I? If I light the wick, the candle will make its own light, won't it? Now, the last thing I want you to do is the next page in your science notebook. There are four things on this page that can make their own light. You're going to find four things and circle them. And then just take a quick peek at this last story. It says, it is nighttime. Do you see Casey? Casey has a candle. The light from the flame lets you see him. But oh no, the wind blows the candle out. Would we be able to see Casey anymore if the wind blew out the candle? I don't think so. We wouldn't see him anymore because there's no light to see Casey. 
and this whole picture would be dark, wouldn't it? Now you're going to go back to your links, your video links on the dojo page and you'll notice that I've given you a link that it's going to take you to a little science website. Just a few short questions about all the lessons we've learned. How does light help you see? Okay? So I need you just to play the little game, answer the questions. I'll be able to see as soon as you're done. Then the next thing, we're going to be getting ready for a math test. So let's listen to this fun little song. Tick tock, tick tock, hear the chiming of the clock. Tick tock, tick tock, every hour we hear it talk. When it strikes one, we start the fun. When it strikes two, play a kazoo. When it strikes three, dance with me. When it strikes four, tap the floor. When it strikes five, buzz into the hive. When it strikes six, stir and mix. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Hear the chiming of the clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Every hour we hear it talk When it strikes seven, yell my name's Kevin When it strikes eight, stand and wait When it strikes nine, hold up a sign When it strikes ten, let's dance again When it strikes eleven, let's start waving When it strikes twelve, clap for yourselves Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Twelve. Tick tock, tick tock, hear the chiming of the clock. Tick tock, tick tock, every hour we hear it talk. Okay, so boys and girls, we just have a few practice pages that we're going to start right here on page 619 in your math book. And if you went into my math games last week that I gave you, you are going to know all of these answers because these sentences are missing the same words that you were dragging into the sentences on the game. Okay? On this page, it just says um, we're going to order these objects by length. Remember that I told you at the beginning, look for the one that has EST at the end. It says make, find the one that is longest and make it number three. Longest is the easiest to find and make it number three. And then work your way backwards, okay? If three is the longest, then two is longer than the other one but not the longest. And one is long but not as long as the other two, is it? For these two, it says measure with blocks. Remember what I told you, if you don't have blocks like this at home, use pennies, they're about the same, okay? Down here, you have to read the time and write it on the digital clock. And then on this one, it says Aaron has swimming practice at seven o'clock, it lasts for one hour. So what time will practice end? What time is one hour later than seven o'clock? If we go to a party at four o'clock, and we stay there for one hour. What time is that party over? One hour after four o'clock. And this one says, look closely and choose the clock where the hour hand is between nine and 10. That means it's in nine's backyard, right? And the minute hand is at six. Look carefully. Okay, and then just a couple of extra little practice ones there. Also for extra credit, I'm going to be putting a worksheet of clocks and times for you to write. If you can print the worksheet, you can print it out, write your answers, and send me a picture. If you can't print the worksheet, no worries, write your answers on any piece of paper and send me a picture and you will get an extra credit 100 that will help you on the math test we're going to have tomorrow, okay? And by now, you're probably ready for a break. We're going to watch this really fun story called Crawford and Harriet 
work together. And you and your family have been working together a lot for the last month, haven't you? And we know that working together helps each other get things done more easily. So sit back and relax and enjoy this story. And then maybe it's time to get yourself a snack break or a lunch break and come back and find your next video with your Super Kids lessons for today. Talk to you soon.